Women are tricky as shit, man. Girl ever asked you like a simple question like, what are you doing for your birthday? Sound like an innocent question. Sound like she's concerned about your plans that you got for yourself. Uh, but they don't give a fuck about your plans. <laughs> they just want to hear if they're included in them. That's the only reason why they ask. You know what I'm saying? You can't tell her, uh, I don't know what I'm doing, but after I do it, I'll let you know what I did. <laughs> I'm just saying, why are you mad? I, it was my birthday. I just thought I could do whatever I wanted on my birthday. It's cool. Go do what you want on your birthday. You don't have to invite me. I know that I mean nothing to you. Fine. Go do what you want to do. So then now on my birthday, I ended up taking her to a play. I took a dinner. I took a dancing. Uh, she stole my fucking birthday. She flipped that shit into an extra Valentine's Day. <laughs> She got out the ride and was like, this is the best your birthday I ever had. I can't wait till your next your birthday is gonna be off the chain. Thanks for the ring, the flowers, the chocolate. This was beautiful. You could have got me a card. Why didn't you get me a card? Women are pimps. They will steal shit you didn't even know could be stolen. Did you know a day could be physically stolen? That's why my next girl, I'm not even telling her I got a birthday. Telling her shit. When is your birthday? I don't have one. This relationship only got room for one birthday. As a matter of fact, I'm a Jehovah's Witness. Now you don't got no birthday. I'm celebrating shit. Jewish people always try to out slavery black people. Jewish people always try to out slavery black people. Some of you laugh. Never heard the term, but you know what the hell I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're always like, you know, we were slaves first. I'm like, that ain't no contest I'd like to win. <laughs> like, who calls shotgun on slavery? <laughs> like, it's not like I'm gonna argue back, like, F that, we was better slaves. <laughs> There's not no award show at the end of the year for the race who suffered the most <laughs> and the winner for the race who suffers the most. Oh, sh they did it again. Goes to the Jews. Yes, we won. So, and I, uh, you're talking about slavery and stuff. And um, do you think anybody? I don't like where this is going already. <laughs> no, no, no. No, I have a sitcom idea. <laughs> uh, it wasn't going there, was it? See. No, I was just thinking when you're talking about slavery. I was thinking most plantation oh, owners. I, huh? What happened? It's the way the way you started is almost as if you're reminiscing. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's, it's like he's like gonna remember. Uh, I just remember when. Uh, he's just like, Whoa. You mean happily reminiscing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <it's> like, <laughs> no, but. Um, <laughs> I remember there's a time when, uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no um most plantation owners use slaves to you know work in the fields and clean the house or whatever wash right. the cars <laughs> wash uh, the but car. uh, <laughs> but do you think there was any like a lonely plantation owners like out in the middle of nowhere that just wanted the company <laughs> and would that be wrong so they just hired a bunch of people to just, just work to for, hang them for free out. not even to work just to hang out and you know, you know, play checkers with and stuff like that. I just don't think black people were that lucky back then <laughs> well, <laughs> to have like a kind plantation owner. Just say, hey man, just hang out with me. I know I kidnapped you, but listen, this is a better deal than the other plantation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't but have there's to gotta work. be because I know some of the uh, slave owners uh, actually had sex with their slaves. Well, you call it sex. We call it rape. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> The reason why I don't have any kids, though, because I'm scared. How many people here got kids? One, one chick, two. <laughs> All right, God bless you. God bless you, whoever have kids, because you got balls. You got balls that I don't got to have kids. It takes a lot of balls to have kids, because I watch the news. And when you watch the news, you realize there's lots of maniacs in this world. You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't want to have kids. Like, if I had a kid, I'd want, like, the ugliest daughter possible. <laughs> you feel me? So that her hideousness would protect her from all the shit that's going on in the world. You know? Like, I want her ugly to the point where she came to me and she's like, Daddy, I was raped. We're like, come on, get out of here. <laughs> no, that shit ain't happened. 
go to your room and start fucking around. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Just playing, daddy. But I did go down to the alley to try to get raped, though. I was like, come on, rapist. He's like, get out of here, girl. I got a flashlight. I can see your face. I'm not going to fall for this shit a third time. Fuck out of here before I call the cops. That's right. I'm the rapist, and I'll call the cops. That's right. I like California. I like California. I like going to the beach and shit. The only thing I don't like going to the beach is because I don't go in the water, so people just bug the shit out of me. Yeah. Hey man, how come you never go in the water? I'm like, listen man, I watch the news. And they got sharks in the water. You remember that girl from Hawaii that got her arm bitten off surfing? Remember that shit? And she was brave, you know what I'm saying? She called a press conference. She's like, Said she got her arm bitten off. I mean, uh, it wouldn't be authentic if I did this shit with two arms. That's just. Uh, I'm not gonna let this defeat me. When I recover, I am gonna surf again. And I was like, damn, that's a that's a brave statement. Because let me tell you something. If I play any game that causes me to lose an arm. The game wins. <laughs> Hand down, the game wins. If I get shot on stage tonight, this is my last show. <laughs> I ain't gonna take no chances in front of a bunch of people again. This is it. Supposed to go surfing again and the shark bites off her other arm. She's gonna do a whole another press conference. I can't believe the sharks <laughs> bit off my other arm. <laughs> really? You can't? <laughs> Where the fuck did you lose the first one? In the water, right? So what the fuck were you thinking? You are a dumpling in the ocean is soup. Stay out of that shit. Can't go gambling with your last arm. St. Vegas. These ain't chips, this your last arm for real. You're gonna need that arm to scratch the nub. You can't take no fucking chip. Um, so do you think um, the Egyptians had black slaves or those were different kinds of slaves? Uh, from what I hear, who, who built the pyramids? Who built the pyramids? I heard- I only come like, here to learn, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> who built the pyramids? Were those black slaves? No. Like, I think originally the Egyptians were black. Somewhere. From Africa. I mean, from Africa. From they Africa. came yeah, over. Yeah. And who was in Egypt before they got there? Who was in Egypt before? The blacks got there. We're making history right now. I don't right think now. Was. We're making history, you yeah, and me. Yeah. I think the Chinese was there first. The <laughs> Do you think when the Chinese first started laying the tracks for the railroads, um, <laughs> Uh, they were called the, like the different trains going to different destinations, like the number one, the number two, <laughs> the number three. This is, this is the MSG train. <laughs> <laughs> but with the underground uh, railroads, I, I keep harping on the slavery because you brought it up earlier, and uh, and I I've always that. been interested uh, with it. Like the, the Chinese did not build that. They didn't build the underground railroad. They did not build the underground no. railroad. <laughs> nothing to do with it. I always thought there was actually a railroad that was underground, but oh, there's did? not, is there? No, no. It's just a, uh, you can't a metaphor. Yeah, it's just a metaphor because you can't escape in the middle of the night with a train horn going, toot, toot, <laughs> last train to freedom. <laughs> ladies, I don't know if you knew this, but uh, men don't like babies. It's real talk. Men don't like babies. Uh, let me explain. Like, women love babies way more than men like babies. Like, two women walking down the street will always notice a baby that's not their baby. Like, oh, Susan, look at that baby. Oh. 
can we hold your baby? Oh. Now, two dudes walking down the street will never notice a baby. That's not their baby. Hold up. Unless there's something wrong with that baby. Larry, look at the ugly ass baby, son. Lady, what the hell is wrong with your baby's face? Your baby needs baby makeup, lady. I don't have any kids. Uh, all the blood tests came back inconclusive. Yeah. <laughs> I did used to date this one chick that had uh, three kids and she gave them up for adoption and then got mad at me when I didn't get her a Mother's Day card. You believe that? I can't believe you ain't get me no Mother's Day card. I can't believe you ain't get me no Mother's Day card. I said, calm down, I did. I gave it to the lady who got your kids. <laughs> just, for, just relax, man. Like mixed race girls. <laughs> Are you mixed? Who said that? Oh, the Asian chick? Yeah. Okay. What do you mix with? German. German? All right. <laughs> I got nothing to add to that. She just. The Asian chick, half German, half Asian. It's cute. Mixed race girls are always fine. It don't matter who the parents are. Could be the two ugliest people from each race. They will have the finest daughters, you know what I'm saying? They will combine their unfortunate looking powers together and have the finest daughters. Like every time you see a mixed race girl, you'd be looking at them in disbelief, like, oh my gosh, Shorty, you are off the chain. You mean to tell me that Lil Wayne and Susan Boyle? Are your parents? God. Is this your home girl? Wow. You're a dime for real, for real. You mean to tell me that Smeagol from the Lord of the Rings and the woman who shot Selena? Are your parents? You got to be the baddest one of them all. You are so fine. You are preposterously fine. You mean to tell me that the ShamWow guy and the girl from the movie Precious oh. Here goes the all ladies. Oh. Man, did, did we all not see the same movie? Cause the movie I saw, she looked like the dude from the blind side. <laughs> uh, let me ask y'all a question. Is it just me or uh, why does everybody with Down syndrome? Uh... <laughs> I didn't even ask nothing yet. <laughs> Can I just finish the question and shit? Is it just me or why does everybody with Down syndrome uh, have the same haircut? You know what? And everybody that laughed, you're going to heaven. You're going to heaven. <laughs> everybody that didn't laugh, you're going to hell for being phony. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> it's just a question. Nobody got hurt. You know what I'm saying? You're just trying to get to the bottom of this shit tonight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just wondering, you know what I'm saying? If it's, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if it's the same barber. That flies around the whole world <laughs> and cuts all their hair. Or if when they go to the barber shop and they're like, I want this one. <laughs> nah, player. You gotta get this one. Because it goes with your eyes, you know what I'm saying? These are the rules, you've been coming here for years. I can't change this shit up now. How else are people supposed to know you have Down syndrome from behind? If I give you corn rolls, you know what I'm saying? I just hold still while I put this bowl on your head. 
cut around like I normally do. <laughs> and some people might think the shit is fucked up, but it's not fucked up. Let me tell you what's fucked up. You give me that look. This is what's really fucked up. What's fucked up is if you did give somebody with Down syndrome a regular haircut, they'd probably come back to the barbershop one week later mad as shit. <laughs> Listen, man, put my shit back. <laughs> Fucking bus been passing me by all week. I haven't been to school because of this shit. <laughs> Strangers keep asking me questions. I don't know where shit is. <laughs> I want my bangs back. <laughs> I've been arrested five times with these cornrows. <laughs> Give me this fucking bowl. I cut this. <laughs> just saying. You know. Don't give me dirty looks. That's just, that's what the deal is. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe you're all applauding that. We're going to hell. We're going to hell. Let's not, let's not go too far. <laughs> <laughs>